Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Where is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Where is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please lock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this plecal myself. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking her I didn't to read anything! I am in charge, You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever sh shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been in 
eliminated. Other threats remain. Just tonight, another treasonist was attempting to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic, my friends. And in return, she will watch over you. difference. There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? Okay. Let's go. Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called, OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. The rest I'll explain as you go. Good luck. I'm sure you can hack it in this place. That was a joke, by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Yes, madam. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madam.
A good reminder. Use the cameras to see what's in the next room. I once spent some time stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. Arrival proceeds as planned. We will not be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. You've found one of the developer commentary markers. There are 100 markers like this one located throughout the facility. By purchasing the full game, you... This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl using either the controller or from the bottom left corner of your phone screen. You can tap on a guard to instruct her to attack. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. Look, pepper spray. P0 at the ready.
the Prizrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zagor's a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him. Now, should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Do you see the door there? That's where I have to go. If I can get to the library, I can find the librarian. He can protect me. How's it sound? Dear Mr. Derringer, after mentioning this to you in passing, I wanted to send you this letter reminding you of my sincere desire for advancement. I believe I have a lot to offer, and in my current position, I will not be able to demonstrate my true potential. Plus, it's boring. Whenever you have time, I would love the opportunity to discuss my moving to the day shift at greater length. Sincerely, yada yada yada. How's that? You've found one of the dev- Come on. Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten? How? Dream bigger than that if you want to buy your way out of here. It is Cooper again. You need to upgrade your software at a demon server to open this door. Then the girl can enter the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. The dorm is a big place, so I have updated your map with this waypoint to the server in the commissary. Proceed with caution. Seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do?
got. I hope they can't see me here. NTR. Let go of me! <laughs> ah, my eyes!
The door. How are you out of your cage? Marie. I gave you a stay of execution and this is how you repay me. Marie is coming. Well, those flickering embers of clemency have gone cold. There must be another way out of here. That file is dead and so have we. So are you when I get down there. There must be something you can do. The Monopolist unifies different industries under the banner of righteous service to promote the common good. The civil engineer takes what is true, regardless of source, and puts it to use for safety and comfort. The lustful poet's vulgar winds blow down the walls of our house, exploding beauty into decadence. The overseer secures the bonds between us all. Only let him serve, and you will be served in return. Before we can look to the future, we must look to the one who will lead us there. The neighborly policeman gives the children time to settle down, maintaining law and order with rare discipline. The slothful union man spends more time relaxing beneath the shade tree than sweating atop the scaffold. Wisely, the politician shows that serving the people is the path of saving obedience. The greedy industrialist owns and owns and owns. She stifles the research that would threaten her financial bottom line. The mad inventor covets his results and denies his peers' data, always envious of Mother Nature's perfection. The state artist seeks only to educate her neighbors against the ordinary, exposing the beauty in truth. 